All right, so I need people to calm the f down about Liberty Falls. I'm making this video urgently because I'm tired of all of these videos coming out about how Liberty Falls shows that Black Ops Thick Zombies is going to fail. Zombies will still suck. Whatever. So I'm going to keep this short, as short as I can. Also, enjoy the gameplay. I don't believe in pre-ordering games, so you don't get Black Ops 6 gameplay. Sue me. You get Cold War gameplay, and you'll like it. So, this video will be split into two parts. The first part is acknowledging the haters of Liberty Falls. Then, the second is me explaining why Liberty Falls isn't that bad, and that it is in fact necessary, and a sign of good things to come. Now, firstly, I completely get the frustration. I think that the advertisement for the map was done incredibly poorly. The zombies community is starved and when it saw that Richtofen was in the intro cutscene for the map for the first time in years, we all thought we were getting a second, incredibly cinematic experience for a second map filled with story to go along with Terminus Island. However, when it was revealed that this map is actually the equivalent of a Black Ops 2 survival map with little extra bits thrown in, people were understandably blindsided and frustrated. I can see why people think this is a sign of bad things coming. If they are already underperforming and overselling with the launch maps, what does that mean for us in the future of zombies? More than that, there is a distinct lack of atmosphere and originality when you see the map. In fact, in many screenshots, it looks like it possibly came from Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, which is very deterring. So, again, seeing that this map is more or less a reskin of a multiplayer map is frustrating to say the least but that's all i have to say in agreement because secondly this is a good thing now i'm not huffing copium here i'm looking at this logically so let's talk about what makes this map so important which i think is twofold yet both parts are directly related first is the fact that this map is appeasing the silent majority of the zombies community for every die-hard, lore-intensive, gobblegum-chewing, divinium-snorting zombie slayer is a new or long-time player who just wants to get in, shoot some zombies for a while, and get out. And let's face it, Terminus is not going to be that. And that leads into my second and more important point. We cannot just have two cinematic experiences for launch maps, as that will kill the early player base. My biggest example of this is actually from what is currently regarded as the greatest zombies game to exist, Black Ops 3. See, many moons ago, when Black Ops 3 launched, it actually only launched with one map, Shadows of Evil. Now many of you will be saying, no, -oh, the giant launched with shadows. And to that I say, yes, with an asterisk. See, the giant was actually included as a pre-order bonus slash season pass bonus map. It wasn't until later that you could buy the map individually. And even then, most of the casual player base wouldn't pay for a zombies map back then. So, what am I getting at? Well, would it shock you to hear that many, many players thought Shadows of Evil was a bad map back in the day? And that is for one reason. Progression. See, Black Ops 3 introduced for the first time a formal leveling up, camo, and challenge system for zombies, similar to what multiplayer has had for years, and zombies players were eating it up. The problem is, there was only one map, Shadows of Evil. The map that took casual players at least 10 minutes to just activate the pack-a-punch, let alone get set up and start grinding for camos. And so, in those early days, less people were playing zombies. A lot of hate was thrown on Shadows of Evil and people were getting very frustrated. This problem got resolved as more maps came out for Black Ops 3 with masterpiece after masterpiece, but this problem rose again with Black Ops 4's release, releasing with four maps, with only one classified barely being a casual map, since that map still required a fair amount of time to even get the pack-a-punch. And the, as a result, the player base fell off. Hard. Now all of this is to say that I think that they've realized what a working formula is for zombie maps. And that is that there needs to be one cinematic experience and one casual brain dead experience on launch. It appeases both audiences, both types of zombie players, 
and for the, hopefully, long term, especially as more maps get released. See, even if all of the remaining maps are cinematic and story heavy, there will always be a map like Liberty Falls to fall back on when you just want to jump in and get a few kills. And that is why this map is so important, and that no matter what you may think about it, you can still jump in quickly, get set up quickly, get kills quickly, and get out. And that is so important for the future of the zombies community.